This is just a very quick pointer to anyone who's using an iPad Pro and likes the ability to record the screen has discovered you can record the screen including sound and then been dismayed to find that when you try to do anything with the video the sound either disappears or is inaccessible so if you try and edit it on your PC or upload it to YouTube or whatever this is a glitch this is a it's a bug essentially this is quite a new feature and I've discovered a workaround, I haven't discovered it, I've tracked it down, you know, um, it's kind of hard to find anything out about this on the web, but anyway, so to cut a long story short, if you go to the App Store, find an application called Splice, this is a video editor from, I think, GoPro, Splice Video Editor plus Movie Maker by GoPro, it's a free app, uh, it's designed for editing your GoPro movies, if you get hold of that, then all you need to do is you need to load your video in that you've created with the screen capture. Do that by pressing plus, select it from your camera roll. I've just been working on a video actually, it's, it's quite a long one, so I'm going to choose that one. You click add, you skip the next step, skip uh, done. It's loading the video in, this is quite a long one so that's why it's taking a while, usually it's loaded in a flash. The iPad Pro does its screen recording using a a new format called I think it's called HEVC yeah HEVC which is called high efficiency video coding so actually you can get some quite long videos and they're very compact it's also I think known as H265 which is the sort of next generation of H264 which is typically what MP4 videos are encoded in and the problem with that is it's cutting edge so not many video editors actually know how to handle it so here we go we've loaded into splice I'm not going to do any editing with this, all I want to do is it's loaded in, I want to save it out in a format that's um, more old fashioned if you like that um, my video editor is going to understand. I'm clicking the share icon at the top right it gives me some options, I'm going to click more I want to click save video now this is not completely flexible really you can't save the whole, the complete, um, the full size video created on the iPad is substantially bigger than 1080p but the largest format you can choose is 1080p I'm going to select that and then it exports it again it's take, going to take a while because this is a long file so that's saved now and what we do is if we go over to camera roll we find a new video there which is the same video but it's it been encapsulated into this 1080p aspect ratio video and we can export that just by copying it out just what you would normally do with a video so I copy it to my PC, edit it on the PC and then uh, upload it to YouTube or something like that so there you go that's how to retain the sound on your iPad Pro screen recordings that's clearly just a bug that Apple's hopefully going to fix in a later version of iOS